The pedestrian signal countdown exists to show how much time remains for people to cross the street before the light turns yellow. But sometimes it counts down for no reason, because the light stays green and the pedestrian signal changes back to walk. This phenomenon occurs at semi-actuated signals. These are intersections where the signal defaults to green on the main street and only serves the side street when a vehicle is detected or a pedestrian presses the button. Basically, these false countdowns happen when the signal is preparing to change to the side street, but when the countdown reaches zero, there isn't anyone waiting there. So the light just ends up staying green for the main street. The exact reason a signal starts to count down depends on whether the signal is coordinated or uncoordinated. An uncoordinated traffic signal operates solely based on the vehicle detectors at the intersection. There is no predetermined cycle. Once a certain minimum green has been served on the main street, the signal can respond immediately when a vehicle or pedestrian is detected on the side street. The flashing don't walk begins along the main street to prepare the signal to change to yellow. But with right turns on red, there might not be anyone waiting on the side street by the time the countdown reaches zero. With no reason to change anymore, the signal will revert back to walk along the main street. This is the same intersection, now operating in coordinated mode. Now there is a specific cycle length which allows the signal to stay in sync with adjacent traffic signals. The main street signal is only allowed to change to yellow at one particular instant in the cycle, which has been chosen to provide a particular offset from adjacent signals. In this case, you can see that the light always changes to yellow just after the previous signal turns green. Every time it approaches this point in the cycle, the Main Street pedestrian countdown begins, regardless of whether anyone is actually waiting on the side street. That way, someone who shows up during the countdown will be able to be served as soon as it reaches zero. If the countdown hadn't already begun, the signal wouldn't be able to change to yellow at the right moment in the cycle, so this person would need to wait until the next cycle. If the countdown does reach zero and still no one is waiting on the side street, the signal will revert back to walk. Now anyone who shows up on the side street will need to wait until the next cycle. So while it certainly looks weird when a pedestrian signal counts down to zero and then goes right back to walk, that's just something that happens at semi-actuated traffic signals when they're programmed to be as responsive as possible to demand on the side street.